Hello, my witchy friends. I'm in the car waiting for my son. And I thought I'd take a minute. My days are so cram packed full of stuff that I don't always get a minute to make these videos, and I love to make them. Um, but I had said I wanted to talk about anxiety. And I meditated on this a lot because there was a day probably about a month ago that I was having an extreme anxiety attack. I mean, to the point where I couldn't breathe, I wanted to cry, and I couldn't figure out what was going on because everything was okay, you know? I have a job I love now. Uh, I mean, I have a family I love. I've got a messy old car. You know, I have everything I need, a roof over my head, and I couldn't figure out what the anxiety was. Well, I closed my eyes and I was meditating on it, and I realized that if you really think about anxiety and if, uh, what it physically is, it's this energy. And so the next time you have an anxiety attack, I want you to try this because this worked very well for me. And you know, I do believe in energy and witchcraft and I'm looking around to see who all staring at me uh, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so this made total sense to me. And I believe that everything we do, everything that we are and everything that's around us is based around energy. So I closed my eyes just to try to calm down at first and try to meditate. I'm not, I'm not a very quiet minded person. My mind's always racing, so that doesn't help. But I closed my eyes and I realized what I was feeling was this energy running all through my body. And I was, and that's what was the anxiety, if you think about it. That was the physical result, whether it's the energy that is going unspent or it's created because there's, I need to do something. I'm not sure where the energy is coming from. That's not something that, you know, I'm in a place right now that I know but I truly believe we can do something with that energy. So the next time you have an anxiety attack, do what I did and see if it helps you because it really helped me and it has a few other times since. So when I feel I have this energy, this anxiety, I call it energy now, not anxiety because it, it does, it puts a whole different light on it. I closed my eyes, okay? And I felt the energy just rushing all throughout my body. I mean, everywhere through my body. So then, I thought, I wonder if I can control this energy. So what I did was I, in my head, and I, I physically moved my body. I took the energy and moved it in my mind all the way to my fingertips. And I could feel it move there. So I moved it to my fingertips and then I had this ball of energy. And I pictured it as a light. And I could almost see it as a sphere, you know, but I had my eyes closed. And then it just kept building and building and building, and it was really quite powerful. And then I, what I, and I just, it kind of said, I'm gonna just do whatever I need to do intuitively, and that's what you need to do too, whatever guides the energy. And I did have some things I wanted to work on at the time. So I said, I'm gonna use this energy and try to direct it literally towards this. So in my mind, I realized I needed to break it in half. It was too much energy for one place. So in my mind, I broke the ball in half and so then in my mind with my eyes closed I'm seeing there were two energy balls if you will in my hands and I sat there with them for a little while and I was like you know in my you know it's crazy how we do these things sometimes but I, I I really 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 believe in this now I sat there with the energy in my hand and then I held it as long as I felt I needed to and then I just threw away and I physically threw it away, threw it in front of me. But I had, I kind of had an idea in my head what I wanted it to go towards, like good intentions and stuff. And by the way, the good intentions I wanted it to go towards have, have are starting to happen. So there you go. Um, at least in my life, you know. Um, there, you, Anyone can say there you go and, you know, it may not be true. But my point is, is I really think, now I'm not talking about depression. Depression is something different and I do suffer from that as well. And I think that comes from being an empath. I think a lot of those of us who suffer from depression suffer because of um, empathy and, and being able to feel other people's emotions. Um, but this is, this is not depression. This is actual anxiety where you feel like ants are running through your body. You know, that type of thing. Like you should be doing something. You need to be doing something. You don't know. You can't breathe. You're having almost on the verge of a panic attack. Close your eyes, gather the energy, gather, gather, gather. And we're magical beings. We can do this. We gather, we, we control energy all the time. Why not in our, within our own body? So gather it, condense it into a ball you know, hold it for as long as you can. 
if you need to split it in half and hold it for a while and then just throw it away and I instantly felt better I really literally threw it could, could it be just the meditation part of it maybe but this felt more physical this felt like it was going away so it might sound kind of crazy and it you know I mean and that's okay but it worked for me and that's the thing and I think I think especially for witches we're dealing with energy all the time and sometimes we don't realize we need to deal with our own energy inside of ourselves so that i mean i'm i'm hoping that helps somebody else i mean please let me know i mean try it next time you get you know you feel an anxiety attack building up or just anxiety building up try it see if you can't channel it maybe not in the exact same ways i did because that may not work for you but channel it bring it to your fingertips see what you can do it see if you can get that energy to go out of your body um i really do think we direct energy more than we realize on a daily basis like i have talked with my hands you know, since I was little, I can remember my mom saying I couldn't say windshield wiper without going like this. And I think I was about four when she said that. I think we're constantly directing energy. My hands are always moving. And I think that's why, but we need to learn to control it. Directing it isn't the same thing as controlling it. And I have found that I'm not having anxiety attacks. I feel them coming and I throw them away in a way, or I put them out there. I put them out there for good. And today, like I said, today something really wonderful happened that we didn't expect it to be quite as well as turn out as quite as well as it did. But that between that and some confusion powder, you know, we had a few candles going, a few other things. It, it worked out. So I'd like you to try it. If I mean, this isn't just someone who's a witch. This can be anybody. This can be someone who's on the in the craft or not in the craft. It's just relaxing, if nothing else. But I really do believe that you're you're casting that energy away. You are. So what else has been going on? Well, I've been working a lot. I work two different shifts. I work seven to three sometimes, some weeks, and some weeks I work three to eleven. That's why I haven't been able to get a really good um, YouTube schedule back up yet. But I'm hoping for that. Um, now I am currently ordering and receiving items for my 2019. Traveler's Notebook Journal. That's another way I, that's one of the things I use for, for depression is journaling. Um, I'm not your typical journal that I sit and write, you know, today was, you know, Dear Diary. I'm not a Dear Diary journal. I do more like memory keeping and one of the things in my journal is going to be my food diary and things like that. So, um, and there's people walking around, but I don't care. Throw them away. No. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so that's something I've got coming up. I've got, I thought about doing unboxings with each thing that came in and then I realized that would be too much. So what I'm going to do is I've just kind of got, I've opened things, gotten them ready and I've told myself I cannot use any of it until January 1st, even though I, I got a hope in each few weeks to do my food journaling and that does, did start yesterday. So I am going to start with that, but not carry it until I can actually put it in the new traveler's journal, which hasn't arrived yet because I'm having it made. So... Um, what else? Let's see here. It's December. Oh, no, it's not December yet, is it? No. Why does it feel like December? Okay, because it's cold here. We've already had snow. Um, let me think. What else? If you have any questions, just let me know. Um, if you have any requests for candle magic or candle spells that you want to learn how to do or even want maybe me to help you do, just let me know. Um, I, I Time is limited, but I will do my best to work that in. Um, I did have something weird happen. Um, my son had asked me to do, um, so I've been lighting a healing candle for him. It's his, you know, heart, broken heart type of thing. And I've been burning uh, pretty steadily a, a candle for him because it really took him for a loop. And he asked me to burn one for the girl as well. And I mean, they've been broken up for a while. They were engaged and everything. And he did, I think he was just hanging on too much. But anyway, he asked me to burn one for her because, you know, he, well, his burned, I didn't even put it out. Um, there was always somebody home, so I put it uh, for, there for a while, so I didn't even put his out. And his, you know, seven-day candle burned from top to bottom, burned beautifully. He's feeling better and everything. I did reach out to her and say, I don't do this for someone unless they specifically say it's okay. Even if it's positive, I don't believe in doing magic on anybody that I don't have their consent. Um, I think that's where we get into trouble. But anyway, so then I, so I did that and she said, sure. She said, absolutely, it's fine. 
Well, it, the weirdest thing was, is it was a jar candle and it burnt about an inch and a half down and an inch and a half about this big, almost like a votive candle was cut out of this candle when it was done and it went out and would never light again. So what I told my son, because he asked me if I was going to do another one for her, and I said, no, I said, I'm not going to. I said, because what I was supposed to do for her is done. It, it, it's, it was just clear to me. It was the same as that candle Say, you know, I've never had trouble with the last one I burned like that, burned all the way through. So it's, it's funny how it works. It's funny how it works. So I'm not, you know, I'm not going to do another one for her unless she specifically asked me to, that kind of thing. Um, but other than that, I haven't really been doing a lot. I've been spending a lot of time with my grandson. Um, he started school yesterday. He's in the um, pre-K special needs class because he, he's nonverbal. He doesn't talk. Um, and don't think I don't burn a lot of candles for him. We don't know what it is yet, but um, I'm burning a lot of candles, hoping that helps. But whatever it is, he's perfect. He's absolutely perfect. So, um, that, I mean, they say he, they, he's doing really well on that. So I'm really happy about that. He's making friends and everything. So he's doing good. And I think that's about it. I've killed about 15 minutes of my wait here. But I, I did, I wanted to tell you guys about this anxiety thing because I'm working more on the depression part of it. And like I said, journaling is a big part of what I do. I like my December jacket. I thought it was December. Um, it's a lot of what I do. Um, it, I forgot what I was saying. That's terrible. That's terrible. I forgot what I was saying. But I wanted to go back to one point where I was talking about being empathy and empaths. Um, that is the one thing I've noticed about this job is I am in close proximity to a lot of people. Um, this, I, 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 like I've said before, I'm in retail and it is the travel industry. So, and the branch I work at is the busiest one out of the all of them in the entire country. Very nice place to work, very good people to work for and with. But I have noticed there are a couple um, energy vampires at work and there's a couple just nasty Nellies, just a couple. But if I get anywhere near them, my day is almost ruined. So I have to be really careful. And I am going to try to learn to protect myself a little bit better. Um, because sometimes, you know, you're getting ready for work. It's all you can do to get your hair brushed and your make what little makeup you wear on and get dressed and get in there. Um, because sometimes, you know, you're doing everything else. So to, to take and do a ritual every day to protect myself like next week um starting up or wednesday our week start on thursday so starting on thursday i'm off today and tomorrow so thursday when i go back i will be on a seven to three and that's where most of the nasty nellies are and i go home and sleep because it takes so much out of me even and i am a good fake it till you feel it person but I, it's the empath in me and I think a lot of people in the craft do have a lot of empath, em, empathy and or, or empaths just because we, we we just draw in that energy and it's crazy and I used to think that you know it was just my imagination that I, I was feeding off of somebody it's it's real it's real because I've noticed that even one of my favorite people to work with the last couple of days she's been in a really foul mood and I went from being in a good mood to almost instantly, without even speaking to her, feeling, I just wanna go home. And I haven't really felt that way. So I think that's why we get so excited when we have someone to work with that we genuinely enjoy because we're getting good vibes from them. And it's, it's true. But anyway, so if I ever think of what it was, I'll, I'll probably watch the video back and go, oh, I never even finished talking about that. And I apologize, I'm just, you know, it's just you and me. We're just sitting here hanging. And if you if you if you need to know what it was I was talking about, say, hey, finish that thought. Because it's gone. <laughs> it's genuinely gone. Um, and I but I do find this is a little bit easier, more casual way for me to do the recording, only because the dogs aren't jumping on me and things. But the unboxings and the videos and I mean the journal videos and stuff I am going to be doing at home simply because I'm gonna have to have everything set up. But so far I have I mean I, I've probably spent too much money. But I'm, I'm determined this year to have one journal for the whole year. Now, this year that I'm in now, 2018, I've had too many. And 
this is my current cover. I use a lot of different covers. I'm going to use one cover. I ordered a nice expensive one and I'm going to use one. Although I have some expensive. This one's not. But, but you know, I, if you don't know what a traveler's journal is, it holds different inserts. And then you can do different things with them. Now, this one, I haven't. I'm just kind of trying to play with this one to figure out what I want to do for next year. This one has a bullet journal in it. I don't think I'm going to use the actual bullet journal system this coming year because I ordered an insert, which you'll see, that I think is going to work better for me than that. This one does have a weekly planner in it. Is there anything embarrassing? I don't think so. I don't think. I don't think there's anything. But there's like the weekly journal, the weekly thing, which I, that is um, by Yellow Paper. Yellow Paper? House, yellow paper house. What does it say on here? Let's see here. Yellowpaperhouse.com. Yeah, um, that's what that's who makes this insert. Um, but that's not the one. I mean, I do have one that's dated starting January. I have the Hobonichi weeks, like I said, that's gonna fit in the back, and that I'm gonna use for my my food and health steps, all that stuff. Now this one right here is also from Yellow Paper um, House that I ordered a while ago, and I had covered it with a different thing. And see how I put the A's and the B's, and I haven't gotten to do it yet, but what I want to do is list all my herbs that I have, and so that way I have that with me. But I think I'm going to do a little bit different um, for 2019, because what I want, that's why I haven't even done this yet, though. Because um, I'm just trying, this is, I'm just trying to get ideas mainly now and say, okay, this is what I want to do, and what aesthetic I want. I want the black and white main color aesthetic in my next year. Um, I'm very much, I, I love the color black, um, and I love the color white. But I would have, you know, there'll be some colors in there. But anyway, excuse me. Um, but um, I'm going to do one of my inserts. It's going to be more like a mobile book of shadows, which will have my herbs in it. I just haven't decided if I'm going to do a whole book on it or if I'm going to do. But like when I do spell, I want to write that spell in that book. So I know for this year, that's exactly. And then I have it again, because what I end up doing is writing it down in on a piece of paper or throwing it in another book. And then I forget where I put it. And then I go. And I also make essential oil blends and the recipes I'd like to have in one place. So that's all going to go into what I'm going to call now. It's the book of shadows. Somebody's staring at me. But anyway, so that's that's what I'm going to do with that. So, but if you have any ideas or you, if you have your, if you have a planner video that you, you know, that you, for what you're doing, um, especially witchy, but it doesn't have to be, I've watched a zillion YouTube videos on, on planner setups. So, um, but if you have something you're going to do and you have a video or even just ideas, post them down below. I'd like to see them. And if you have a state, a channel you'd like me to subscribe to, just put that down there too. Cause I like to look at other, other channels. All, I mean, I'm, I'm on YouTube quite a bit. I, that's how I relax. But anyway, well, I'm going to go send him a text and let him know I'm here. So it's got to be time, almost time for him to come out. Um, but I hope you all have a great day, great week. I'm, I'm not going to promise anything. I, I promise and it doesn't happen. There are other things I want to record. And there, I still have two videos I have not uploaded yet. And those were the, um, um, which is moon boxes for October and November. And I mean, I... I <laughs> See, if I do them like this, then I don't feel the need to do any kind of production. If I record them at home with everything, I feel like I need to do all this production and all this kind of stuff. So that, that's why they haven't, they, they were done that way. And I just haven't felt, I just haven't had the time or maybe the gumption. I've been a little down. This weather, we've had some really weird weather. This weather's been weird, but um, I, I, I felt I need to work on myself a little bit more and I need to work on, especially on my craft. And I'm starting to feel that coming back again, so that's good. But anyway, if you have any questions, leave them below. Please subscribe if you haven't. Um, my numbers went down a little bit, and that's probably because I'm not filming as much as I should be. And I apologize, or maybe this isn't the content for you. But anyway, if you have anything you want me to talk about or you want to talk to me about, just put it down below. And like I said, please subscribe. And please, stay magical. Use your magical energy. Take care.